Sarah Gray and I have the pleasure of serving as Executive Director for the American Lung Association of Florida's chapter here based out of Orlando. And today is, as you know, is November 1st, which is the start of Lung Cancer Awareness Month as, as uh, set up by our federal government. Lung cancer will kill this year more than three times the number of people who died in the Vietnam War. It is the cancer, as you know, is the leading cause of death for Americans under the age of 85. And lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death. It's something we need to talk a little, talk more about here in the United States. We need to talk more about it here in Florida. And we need to talk more about it here in Orlando. And so we're going to do that a little bit today for the first time. The American Lung Association is going to raise the bar of public debate about lung cancer. And we appreciate everybody coming out this morning to help us with that beginning. Two years ago, one of our very dedicated volunteers, Gail Bowman, who is with us today, came to me and asked, Eric, what are we doing about lung cancer? And other than raising money for research, which the American Lung Association has done for a number of decades, we're really not doing much in the way of public advocacy or local education as a result, as it, as it relates to lung cancer. And that's really unfortunate, and we're about to change that today. We're getting into the fight against lung cancer locally, and we're gonna hit it head on. And the reason we're here today at the Orange County Courthouse in part is because we're directly across the street from the Bank of America Center where we'll be launching our inaugural stair climb event in just a few days from now, where we'll have over 200 people from the local community climbing in support of lung cancer awareness, research and advocacy, and local education. They'll be climbing 516 steps to the top of this building in a race that is officially timed and sanctioned, and we think that it's gonna be a great deal of fun, but we also, more importantly, think it's gonna bring a great deal of awareness towards this very specific issue. What I want to start off today is introduce a number of people who have decided to lend their name and lend their effort and volunteer time and service to this effort. And I want to start with our esteemed Orange County Public Defender, the Honorable Bob Wesley. Good morning, everyone, and thank you uh, for uh, coming out this morning. Welcome to the Orange County Courthouse. I am joined today by my colleague, Martha Haney, who is the Comptroller of Orange County. We both welcome you to Orange County Government. Uh, as we spoke, uh, as Eric spoke, on November 10th, right behind us will be the event that has a great uh, amount of attention and buy-in from the local firefighters. And it will be a challenging event, but another way to bring attention to the problem of lung cancer and to uh, assure lung cancer awareness in the community. This is my second event that I've worked on with the American Lung Association. And uh, my interests are in line with all those matters that the, uh, the, the lung association is involved with. Let me tell you that we're worried about tuberculosis because of the incidents right in jails and prisons that involves my work. We're worried about asthma in our community because of the uh, impact on children, their ability to thrive, and we're especially worried about lung cancer as it affects our, um, our own working population. This is just like so many other workplaces. If you look around, you'll see some smokers out here on the ground and you'll see some places that uh, some buildings that don't tolerate smoking. And um, we're all, as employers, are worried about the health of our staff and worried about community well-being in general. Welcome to our beautiful courthouse. I also have the uh, privilege of meeting a very brave and strong woman, Gail Bowman, who's a lung cancer survivor. And I'd like to introduce Gail to you at this time and ask her to come forward and make her remarks. Hi, I want to thank all of you that are here that are supporting the cause. Gail Bowman, and I'm a fourth stage lung cancer survivor. October 3, 2002, I was diagnosed with fourth stage lung cancer. It was in both my lungs and had moved to my lymph nodes. Um, at the time I was diagnosed, I was very shocked to be told that it was lung cancer. I had gone undiagnosed for a year and a half. It's very important that you take your own health into your hands and be aggressive with it. Um, I had the great opportunity to have particular individuals in my life that was able to guide me to doctors. And uh, the doctors that I have been in contact with and that have been in charge of my care have gone far and beyond the measure of what any human being could possibly do for me. I am a 1% um, survivor. There's not very many lung cancer survivors that have four stage lung cancer that have lived five years. So I'm very fortunate to be here. I'm very fortunate to have the support of all of you that are here. Um, when I was diagnosed, the first thing that went through my mind is how am I gonna tell my children? 
I don't want them to be affected. My son was in his first year of college. My daughter was in her senior year of high school. And I wanted them to continue on with their course for their life and uh, not drop out or, or uh, be affected by this. With the faith of God that we have, we were able to do that. And uh, the strength that has been given me is far and beyond uh, what I could ever imagine. I even help put the tents up. And I'm going through chemotherapy. I go through two forms of chemotherapy once every two weeks. Uh, my lung cancer metastasized to my brain. I had to have radiation to my entire brain. Uh, the doctors were able to completely eradicate it. So right now we're back focused on the lung. And um, I hope to be here five more years and five more years after that. I tease my doctor and I say, well, at least you have one lung cancer survivor around that you can practice on. Um, but it's a serious disease. I laugh about it, but it is a serious disease. It's the number one killer other than heart disease. And when I was told I had lung cancer, I had never heard of it before as far as being the number one killer. I, I hear of you know, the breast cancer and all the other forms of cancer. I always said, why, why isn't anything out here in the community to aware us and, and for early diagnosis um, is far beyond my understanding. I got involved with the American Lung Cancer so, uh, Society and because of Eric's support have been able to uh, start awareness into the community and I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for the opportunity and the uh, involvement that the American Lung Association does for this, and of course each one of you. Thank you.